Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the chess future. Hello everyone and welcome back. So today we will talk about the genius, the young boy from India, the only one, the grandmaster, Pragnanda, you know, is so strong player and also very kind person. I must admit, I played beside him so many tournaments in my life during the time that he had like rating very close to mine. Something around 2520, 30, 40, maybe also 50. But after it, he just climbs over the 2700. I think today he's one of the top 10 players in the world. So, you know, it's just my honor to be, uh, you know, cross him, beside him, to see him playing and thinking during the game. It's something very, very special. So, yeah, I had the pleasure. So, thank you very much, Prague. And also, you know, I must tell you guys also something very special ab about his mom. His mom just goes with him every tournament. I saw her so many times every game, you know, wait for Prague to leave the game, wait to finish the game and support him and, you know, happy for him and a little bit sad if he lost or something like this. Just really special to see like boy and his mother together, you know, winning the world. So, you know, today I will show you one game that I played against him. We already only played one time in our life uh, in Title Tuesday. Of course, the time control is 3 plus 1. And this game was played by, you know, last year in 2023, December, 19 of December. Wow, it was not so far away, right? So let's see the game. I was played with white pieces and this is what it looked like. E4, of course, knight to c6. Prague is playing the move knight c6, of course. This is not the main line uh, from uh, for the genius from India. Knight f3, of course, d6. I don't know. I didn't play the move d4 because after d4, just d5. And of course, I can play e5, bishop f5, for example. I don't know, knight f3, e6. It's fine, I think, overall. I really wanted to play knight e3 because if black will play the move e5, I will go back to my Spanish with bishop b5. So he played the move d6, I played d4, knight f6, knight c3, of course, guarding the pawn on e4, g6, and now bishop to b5. Overall, it seems very logical because I really want the bishop uh, developed. Bishop c4, it's a little bit annoying, I think, because, you know, it's not so good for, for white. Because bishop g7, bishop g4, and I'm not sure that the bishop is doing a great job here, right? Um, so maybe d5 should be good, but this bishop, why to put it on uh, c4? So I played the move bishop b5, bishop d7, and this was the first, not the best move by... Uh, my opponent Prague because now e5 maybe it's it's really bad for him for example d takes e5 d takes e5 knight h5 and now just queen e2 with some idea of bishop g5 bishop c4 maybe long castle and this d file will be not uh, easy and comfortable for black so i don't know why i didn't play it but of course i just played the move castle bishop g7 rook e1 makes sense until now castle and now also i had like just e5 knight e8 probably and just bishop g5 and as you can see my pieces are really good developed with e takes d6 this is my point for example a6 is very bad move because of e takes d6 i don't know c takes for example bishop takes c6 bishop takes and bishop e7 and white is winning absolutely so yeah e5 should be very very strong for me for example if i take take knight g4 uh, just bishop f4 right oh sorry bishop f4 of course yeah to, to defend the pawn on e5 so h3 the next move queen d2 rook a d1 looks like uh, very very good for white so i played the move h3 also makes a little bit sense uh, but now a6 was played bishop f1 and e5 and here i don't know it seems like black is totally fine here i took the pawn d takes e5 also knight takes e5 uh, maybe considerable considerable 
for black, just knight takes, d takes and queen f3. And my point was to play bishop g5, rook a d1, knight d5 maybe. Should be a little bit advantage for white, but not something that, you know, uh, looks promising until now. But he took with the pawn, and now my first uh, inaccuracy, I think. No, first, we already saw that I had some options with e5. Uh, but another, another, um, not mistake, not blunder, but maybe... And not understanding the position. I played the move bishop to g5. And you know, it seems like fine because I'm just developing a bishop and I really want to play knight d5 maybe. But yeah, just h6, right? Bishop h4. And whenever black will want, he will play just the move g5 and my bishop or g3 will just don't, you know, don't work any anymore here on g3 knight h5 and that's it right so yeah h6 if i take just bishop takes and two bishops for black is totally fine here so after bishop g5 yeah it's not so good i i think overall knight d5 was a little bit better because i'm just pushing knight d5 i really want maybe to play the move c4 and maybe also b3 bishop a3 bishop b2 maybe like this and also now bishop g5 makes a lot of sense so knight d5 was a little bit better of course knight takes is not so good e takes just and the pawn in e5, on e5 uh, just lost so bishop g5 h6 bishop h4 and now we play the move bishop e6 of course seems very very good for uh, prague i played the move knight d5 and now g5 and of course um yeah i'm just looking bad here after bishop g3 just knight takes e4 and the knight is under attack on d5 so yeah problematic position queen takes bishop g3 rook d8 i played them with queen c1 another mistake uh, because i forgot that bishop takes h3 just winning a pawn g takes maybe queen takes c3 i don't know really black is uh, favorite of course just one pawn up and the bishop is not good and the king is a little bit uh, open so yeah of course black is pressing for win uh, but i played the move, the move queen c1 sorry and prague Unfortunately, with 2 minutes and 40 seconds for him, he didn't saw the move bishop takes a 3 Play the move rook d7. Also makes sense because he wants to bring another piece to the game. I played the move c3 and rook fd8 and now I realized that bishop h3 was a threat and I played the move queen e3 and to grab, you know, to defend, to protect the knight on f3. Queen e7, bishop e2 and now I thought like, okay, I, I understand I, I did some mistakes here and you know i lost some uh, motivation and now i really need to play for a draw i need to play for an equalize because in, in chess game you must you, you know do a evaluation of position also in the opening also in the middle game and also in the end game and now i understand that my position is not so good and i really need to find some um, moves maybe to equalize the, the position so he played with queen f6 i don't know why uh, but of course i don't know which plan uh, does he have but he goes back with queen f6 b3 queen g6 uh, as you can see maybe you, you can see queen f6 queen e7 bishop e2 queen f6 so prague did two moves with the queen go back and go back right so maybe he saw my youtube channel with admit your mistake and maybe it's not a shame to go back prague Tell me if you see it, right? So it's very important. Okay, so Brag is doing it. And b3, queen g6 is understanding that the queen on e7 is not doing job. And the queen on g6 a little bit better, right? So rook ed1, I'm just understanding that this file on d uh, is very annoying. And I really want uh, to exchange all the pieces there. So bishop f6 was played. Just take it. And rook d1, take, take. And in this position, I have feeling that... Maybe I'm a little bit better because the f5 square weak, knight d5, maybe I will come to with the knight to d5, to f5. Looks promising for me. And the bishop, yeah, the bishop is not so good, but but let's see. h5 was played by Prague. Very strong move, I think. I played the move bishop e2, but also h4 was an important um, move because after g4, just knight g5, I think. Uh, looks fine. Bishop takes, h takes, f3 maybe the next move. Yeah, two bishops, it's two bishops, right? So, yeah, it's interesting. I played the move bishop e2 also makes sense. h4, bishop h2, g4, just takes, takes, and i t1. And really, I want to uh, exchange these two bishops because after it, I will have the opportunity to come with the knight to f5 or d5, 
with the strong initiative, right? So the bishop on g4 is a better piece than my bishop on e2. He played the move bishop e6, of course, Prague understand it much better than me. I played the move king f1. I think overall knight d3 was much clever, right? Knight c5, and I don't know, looks really nice for white. Also f4, maybe some uh, ideas with f5, and if e takes, knight takes, and yeah, I will take the bishop on e6, bishop c4. I have the initiative, right? So knight d3 was much active uh, than king f1. I, f I think that I felt like maybe I, I had some respect for uh, the brilliant player with the black pieces. So I played the move king f1, slowly, you know, like solid. Bishop g5, queen d3, queen h6, and now knight f3, of course, attacking the pawn on e5. Bishop f4 takes, takes, and queen e3 going into the endgame because this, this h4 pawn is a weak pawn. Takes, takes, h3, g3. I think very strong move because after bishop g4, just king g1 uh, with king h2. And now knight to g1, and I'm taking the pawn on a3, and it looks like that I'm pressing for a win against one of the best players in the world. He played the move bishop e6, and now maybe you can stop the video and think by yourself, which move can I play here? And as you can see, Prague has 6 seconds on the clock, while I have 17 seconds. So yeah, I played not a good move here. I think that if I manage um, to solve this problem maybe i could have win this game i played the move knight takes h3 and unfortunately after bishop takes king takes this knight of course is better than this bishop and i cannot win in this uh, particular position uh, i will show you very very soon but in this game i think in this position of course just bishop f1 was just clever bishop takes h3 and just spawn up and you know we're playing the game i'm not sure about this position and how he can survive it um but you know if i will have the possibility to have knight against knight and we will exchange these bishops one pawn up one pawn up ladies and gentlemen and yeah it's something to to consider about right bishop f1 was much clever than knight takes the three he took take and knight a7 and a little bit you know just maneuvering and I don't have any plan, of course, and my opponent also doesn't have any chances here to win. He played some moves, of course, with time travel, um, checked me, of course, and after 96, uh, it was a three-time three repetition, and the game was finished by a draw. I did the draw against maybe the next, not the next, but the future world champion? I think yes. Lady, ladies and gentlemen, if you like this video, smash that like button and also subscribe my channel. See you soon in the next video and maybe the next video will be after Prague will be the world champion? No, it will take some years. Bye-bye.